Okay, so let's talk about malware. And I'm pretty sure this is a word that you've heard before. Unfortunately, this is also a word that is always misused by a lot of people. So what exactly does the term malware mean? Well, malware is the collective term for all malicious forms of software and programs. So whether you're talking about viruses, worms, rootkits, all these are types of malware. Malware comes from two words, malicious and software. That's how the word malware was formed. So it's basically the general term for all these malicious programs that can harm your computer and your data. One very important thing to note about malware is that there is no all-in-one solution. A lot of people believe that, oh, if I have an antivirus on my system, then I'm fine. It's going to protect me against viruses and, and worms and trojans. No, <laughs> that is a lie. Having an antivirus helps, but it's not going to protect you from all the different forms of malware that we have out there. So it's important to note that. Now, when it comes to malware, there are so many forms of malware, but the main ones are viruses, worms, trojans, you've got rootkits, ransomware, and then exploits. But you also have spyware, adware, logic bombs, and the list goes on and on, but these are the six main ones. Viruses. You've heard of viruses so many times before. These, these are easily the most uh, popular forms of malware. Now, viruses replicate themselves by contaminating legit programs with their own code. That's how they are able to spread. They first have to infect a program before they can begin to spread. Worms, on the other hand, they can self-replicate, which means that they don't have to attach themselves to any program or application. Once they're in your system, they can replicate themselves and then spread through the network. Trojans are very dangerous and it's because they pretend to be real programs. You might have gone online before and you see this new software that helps you convert uh, YouTube videos to an MP4 format or something like that and you might think, oh, this is actually uh, a really good legit program. Let me go ahead and download and install it. That could actually be a Trojan. So that's how Trojans operate. They pretend to be legit applications, they pretend to be games. You install them thinking that, oh yeah, this is this is great. <laughs> no, you actually have a Trojan running on your system. Now, rootkits. There is a very specific reason why they are in red, and that's because these are quite possibly the most dangerous form of malware. These guys are extremely nasty. They are very hard to detect and very hard to eradicate. What makes them even more nasty is the fact that they provide access to unauthorized areas. We'll talk about rootkits very, very soon. And then you have ransomware. These are becoming more and more popular. Basically, a ransomware form of malware will block access to data or programs until a ransom is paid. So it's basically your system being hijacked. You pay this ransom or say goodbye to your files, you know, stuff like that. And then we have exploits. These guys take advantage of bugs and vulnerabilities that might exist on your operating system or any of the applications or programs that you are currently running on your PC. So these are the six main types of malware out there. Now, before I round up this quick introduction, I wanted to show you this graph that I got from Statista. And it basically demonstrates the number of new malware specimen created every single year. And you can see the numbers are rising from 130,000 uh, back in 2007. 10 years later, we're having projected numbers of over 7 million new forms of malware created. And of course, viruses are the very top of 49%, Trojans 30%, worms 11%. So viruses, Trojans, and worms are usually the three main forms of malware that are constantly uh, being created. However, ransomware, like I said, ransomware is becoming more and more popular. So it's kind of ridiculous how many forms and types of different uh, viruses, trojans that we have to worry about. It's, it's insane. So this is just to let you know that really malware is something that you need to take uh, very, very seriously. It's one thing to, to worry about the NSA or advertising companies spying on your privacy. And it's quite another to worry about malware, which can actually destroy data that you have on your system. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next class.